explain to them what her situation is and then ask them what kind of services do they have and then explain to them, you know, that um, you want it to be where it's paid by the state or the government and then they're going to tell you what you have to do. Simple like that. And I know for a fact, because they told me last time, that um, they, they will come out and do an interview with her as well. Somebody have to be there. So this is how those things have to be done. Because to just uproot her and doing that and stuff, that's going to make her even more uncomfortable. There's a way of doing these things. And see, the only reason why I'm saying it, because I went to school for home health aid and CNA and all that. So I know what the protocols are. So that's the best way to do it. Home health aid, they come and do the interview, and they will facilitate. Then after some time, she's not responding, then the next level is a higher level of care where she may have to be placed in a nursing home. But y'all know how she is. She's very independent. She's still strong. So I'm saying everyone should just do what they need to do pertaining to getting her the help that she needs and then checking up on her.